Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you a Salesforce resource that will help you better learn and understand the various data models of the many Salesforce clouds. But before I do that, let's first go over what data modeling is. Data modeling is the process of giving structure to your data using objects, fields, and relationships. Most of you are probably familiar with viewing your org's data model by navigating the schema builder, but the resource I'm about to show you provides pre-built data models for the various Salesforce clouds. To access this resource, we'll first start from the homepage of architect.salesforce.com. From here, hover over the Diagrams tab, and then click on Template Gallery. As you can see, if we scroll down, this page provides you many pre-built data model diagrams. For this video, I'm going to select the Sales Cloud Overview. From here, you can download it as a PDF, an image, or open the diagram in Lucidchart. You can also just click on this image. As an admin or a sales cloud consultant, you'll definitely want to have a good understanding of the various sales cloud objects and the relationship between those objects. I personally find it much easier to learn and understand how objects interact with each other when it's presented in this way instead of reading through pages of documentation. The legend at the top provides insight into the differences between entities and also the ways that the various relationships are displayed. If these legend components aren't too clear, there are resources available on this website that explain what these components mean. So if we navigate back to the template gallery, you can see that there's also a service cloud support overview. We'll click on that. So if you're currently learning service cloud or you work as an admin in a service cloud org, this data model would be a great resource to utilize, whether it be your studies or in your day to day. So we'll navigate back to the templates again. One last thing I wanted to go over was this product areas filter. If we click on one of the values, let's just say data cloud, you'll see that it filters all the diagrams and it just shows you the ones relevant to data cloud. If we remove this filter, you can also search this gallery by keyword. So let's just say CPQ. I personally find these pre-built templates extremely helpful and I hope by sharing them that you find value in them as well. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you all for watching today and I'll see you in the next video.